Uh, what's happening? It's good to see you here for another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today, quick, awesome tip here for you to hear a little before and after when you're working with a lot of effects on your audio. Jump and resolve, check this out. So sometimes I want to hear a little before and after of my audio effects just to make sure things are in the right spot or maybe I need to double check something without all of the effects applied. So I'm in the Fairlight tab here. I recorded a little voiceover. Here's kind of what it sounds like after I've added in all of the effects. All right, here's our voiceover for our... Um... Okay, sounds pretty uh, pretty uh, cinematic, pretty, whoa, that's kind of cool, right? So if we take a look at my mixer here, make sure your mixer's open at the top. Under the effects section right here, I've got a voice changer, a multi-band compressor, and a de -esser. Now down below that, I have effects in. Now this is the effects insert. So when we see this yellow light turned on right here, we know that the effects are being inserted onto the track. Now, if I want a quick before and after with my effects here, you could come to your effects and click on and off all these little buttons, but nobody wants to do that. All you have to do is come to your effects in and turn that off. Make sure it's not lit up. And now you're gonna hear the before all of your effects are applied. So check it out. All right, here's our voice over for our, uh, if you woke up one day and could do. And there you go, there is our before. Maybe I need to make a little EQ adjustment or I wanted to adjust what I did with the EQ here pull out some frequencies I don't like, and I could just toggle this on and off to hear my voiceover with and without the effects. I use it all the time. It's just really handy to get a quick before and after for all of your effects. Anything. What would you do? Who would you be? Travel the world with friends. Spend days on horseback. Explore the wonder of nature. So there you got it real quick before and after for all of your effects here in DaVinci Resolve. That effects insert, it's handy, it's good. And if you aren't hearing your effects for some reason, check and make sure that that's turned on so those effects are being inserted into your channel. That wraps up this Quick Tip Tuesday. If you want to take your audio to the next level, check out my Audio Essentials for Video Editors in DaVinci Resolve course. It's linked down below. It'll tell you everything you need to know about making your audio awesome, give you tons of samples, free files, free presets, lots of cool stuff. So if you're interested in that, maybe check it out. With that said, guys, any questions, comments, leave it down below, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Ah, I'm gonna just get a little coffee. Ah, that's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. Let me some coffee. How about that voice changer effect? You guys want to see a video on that? that? I thought that was pretty good. Dude, ridiculous. That voice changer is good. It comes from Waves, by the way. Uh, pretty cool. I think I might have to make a video about that. All right, we'll see you. Peace.